Assalamualaikum and uh, selamat sejahtera. So today I would like to talk about uh, wave uh, 5.5 diffraction of wave. Alright, my name is Cikgu Suryati Yusof. I am from Sekolah Menengah Sains Muzaffar Shah, Melaka. Okay, so we uh, I would like to teach you about uh, topic 5.5 diffraction of wave. So what we are going to learn uh, for this topic, uh, first, uh, you the student are able to describe diffraction of wave from the following aspect. First one is wavelength, frequency, speed, and direction of propagation of wave. Five point two determine the factors affecting diffraction of wave. Five point three, you have to draw a diagram to show the patterns of diffraction of water wave and the effect of diffraction of light wave. And lastly, you have to explain the application of the pressure of wave in daily life. Okay, in this uh, topic, we are going to talk about three types of wave. That is the first one, water wave, light wave, and sound wave. Okay, so look at this uh, picture, this beautiful picture. Uh, a diagram below shows two walls which are built near the shore. And two walls, so this is the first wall, second wall. Compare the pattern of the water wave before and after passing the gap between the two walls. What is the function of the walls? So, this is the two walls that we are talking about just now. So, this is the wave uh, from the sea. And here is the wave after it passed through the, the, the two walls or what we call the gaps. Okay. So, this is another picture I took from the desktop of my computer. So, this is the very big uh, walls. Uh, natural walls okay here is the sea wave so here is uh, the water will passing through the, the the gap between the two walls and so this is what we call the uh, the uh, wave after passing the two walls okay so let's look at a video showing the the wave after the passing the gaps so this is the shape of the waves, it's like circular. What is that? Uh, okay, what is that? This is the wave from the sea front. So it looks like the wave is uh, quite high just now, but after passing the gap, it will become lower amplitude. Okay. Um, so we are trying to talk about diffraction of wave. So what is diffraction of wave? So, diffraction of wave is a phenomena in which we spread out or bend as they pass through a gap or round a small obstacle. So, this is the gap between two walls. So, this is the wave run. Okay, from point A, and you pass through, goes to the gap, and it will become uh, spread out uh, to become circular wave. Okay. Right, so look at... Uh, to, uh, to, to type of wave, to size of wave, sorry, two size of gaps, right? The first one is smaller gap, second one is larger gap, okay? When the gap size is approximately equal to the wavelength, the wave pattern after passing through the gap is circular. When the gap size is bigger than the wavelength, the wave pattern after passing through the gap is less circular. Okay, now we continue to activity 1 to study the characteristic of the diffracted wave in the ripple tank. So this is a ripple tank. Uh, we fill the ripple tank with water. So we have uh, two, uh, uh, two barriers uh, to form a, a gaps, uh, right? So what we do is switch on the power pack, use a barrier to block the incident straight water wave and observe the water wave beyond the barrier. Then send a straight water wave to pass through a gap. Observe the pattern of diffracted wave beyond the gap. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, the straight, straight, uh, the, this the deeper, a straight deeper, so which will produce a straight line ataupun uh, this will produce a straight wave, a plane wave, sorry. This will produce a plane wave which pass through the gap and we will observe what is the pattern of the wave after passing the gap. 
it so this is the the result from the experiment so plane wave passing through a smaller gap so it will produce a the wave has been spread out in and form a wave like uh, the shape of circular wave right so the before entering is a plane wave after entering is the uh, circular wave okay can you show you so plane wave produce circular wave okay before deflection after deflection okay right so you are asked to draw the diffracted waves so this is for the white gap and this is for the narrow gap so for the white gap so this is uh, the the wave after passing through a white gap and for the narrow gap after uh, the wave after passing the narrow gap so if you can see that uh, for the uh, white gap we have a, a plane wave but uh, it will bend a little bit at the edge but for the narrow gap we have a circular wave right Okay, question number two, compare the wavelength of the wave before and after passing the gap. So, this is before, lambda 1, this is after. So, from the small gap, we can see that lambda 1 equals to lambda 2. Same with bigger gap, lambda 1 equals to lambda 2. So, a conclusion, lambda, lambda before deflection equals after deflection. Okay. Next, what can you say about the direction of the wave after passing through the gap? Okay, so plane wave coming here in this direction. So it will spread out okay, in this direction. Okay, so we call it spread out. Same with the bigger gap, spread out. Okay. Now, we conclude the characteristic of the wave after deflection. Okay. So, can, what can we say about the frequency? Equal, because we still use the same motor, vibrate with the same frequency. The wavelength is equal. Speed of wave, do you think, is what? It should be equal, because the depth of the ripple tank is equal. Therefore, the speed of the wave should be equal. Direction of the wave, we say, we say that it's spread out. Amplitude, it will going to be decreased. Okay. Right. So, now, why the amplitude of the fractal will decrease? So the answer is because uh, the diffractive wave is spread out to wider area. So from here, it will be spread out to wider area. Okay, spread out wider area. And energy of the wave will reduce. So it will be reduced when we know that energy and amplitude is relation, uh, related together. So when energy redu uh, reduce, therefore amplitude also will be reduced or will be decreased. So we have a smaller wave right, after diffraction. Okay. Now, activity 2. You are going to study uh, the factors which influence diffraction of water wave, right? So, the first uh, the first uh, factor is the size of the gap. So, describe the factor of the wave after passing different size of gaps. So, we have small gap, we have bigger gap. So, this is a small gap. So, the wave will become uh, circular and this one does not uh, change uh, much from the the uh, before uh, a play wave we have the edge uh, bend a little bit at the edge right so this is a circular wave plane and bend at the edge and we call it diffraction obvious obvious sorry diffraction less of your obvious mean from plane wave it will change to circular wave okay now, look at the next uh, factor. What is the relationship between the shape of the diffracted wave with the size of the gap, right? So, this is narrow. This is the... Sorry, this is the white gap. This is the narrow gap. So, which one is more circular? So, the narrow one. So, it's a conclusion. The smaller the gap, the more circular the diffracted wave, the more obvious the diffracted wave. Okay? So, the smaller the gap, the more circular of the diffracted wave. Okay, now, uh, describe the pattern of the wave with different wavelength after passing through the gap of the same size. Okay, so now this time, uh, we have the same gap, same size of gap, but we change the, the lambda of the wave. So, how we change lambda? We change lambda by changing the frequency of the motor, right? So, when the motor vibrate with low frequency, so it will have a small lambda. This is a bigger lambda, means... High frequency, higher speed, right? Okay. 
so what can we say here is plane and bend at the edge, circular wave. So this the first one lambda give you the diffraction less obvious, and because this is circular, it will become diffracted. Uh, the diffraction is is more obvious. Okay, so. Look at the relationship. So, what is the relationship between the shape of the reflected wave with the size of the wavelength? We conclude that the the bigger the uh, wavelength or lambda, the more obvious. The more circular means the more obvious the reflected wave. Okay, the longer the wavelength, the more circular the reflected wave. Okay. So, state the two factors that make the diffraction more obvious. So, the first one is small gap, and the second one is long wavelength. The smaller the gap, the more circular the diffracted wave. The more obvious the diffracted wave. Same thing the lambda. The, the bigger lambda, the longer lambda, the longer the wavelength, the more circular the, the diffracted wave. Okay. So small gap and long wavelength. Okay, this is another conclusion from what we uh, studied just now. So effects of diffraction of waves. So we have uh, the first one, uh, fixed wavelength. So we uh, change the, the size of the gap. So white gap, reflection less obvious. Okay, less obvious means you have play wave and bend at the edge. Smaller gap, small gap, diffraction obvious uh, by uh, looking at the shape of the wave. Diffractor wave is more secular, right? Now the second uh, factor is size, fixed size of the slit. You, uh, the slit is, the size of slit is constant. We change the wavelength. This is a short wavelength, long wavelength. So short wavelength, diffraction less obvious. Uh, plane, uh, plane and uh, bend at the edge. And uh, the long wavelength means you have a circular diffracted wave. Okay. Now activity 3. So we are going to study the diffraction of sound wave. Okay. So audible sound wave have wavelength in the range of 1.5 cm to about 50 meter. Light wave have wavelengths in the range of 4 to 7 times 10 to the minus 7 meter. A radio is placed nearby a corner of a wall. The radio is turned on. So this is the wall. So this is the radio. So this is the boy going to... Uh, he cannot see the radio but he can hear the sound of, from the radio. So first question, compare the wavelength between sound wave and light wave. So we can get from this information. So what we have is a sound wave is bigger or larger, longer than the uh, lambda for light wave. Okay. Lambda for sound wave, larger than lambda for light wave. Okay. Next question, can you see the radio? What if first you can make about the diffraction of light wave? Yes, you cannot see the radio. So we conclude that light difficult to be diffracted. Can you hear the sound of the radio? What inference you can make about diffraction of sound wave? Yes, you can hear the sound, so sound can be diffracted. <clears throat> uh, now we have we have to relate between uh, lambda and the effect of diffracted uh, to explain why we can hear the sound from the radio uh, uh, over the the wall, but you cannot you cannot see the radio. Okay. So the answer is sound wave are more easily diffracted because its wavelength is longer than the wavelength of light. Okay. So this is the reason. Okay, again, lambda for sound wave is bigger or longer than lambda for light wave. Therefore, sound wave are more easily diffracted. So we can hear the sign behind the wall. Now we move on to the next activity to study the diffraction of light wave. Okay. Uh, direct the laser light ray through the single slit. Observe the pattern form on the screen and draw the pattern. So here we use a laser point, laser pen, okay, red laser pen. So this is a single slit, single slit. Okay. And here is the screen. So we can see the diffracted light wave on the screen. Okay. So we are going to use the first one, a single uh, narrow slit and then a small pinhole. Okay. So this is the video to, uh, to show the result of the experiment. Okay, we use single slit diffraction. So this is a red laser. Okay, red laser. 
So we use uh, the single slit which can vary the width of the slit. Okay, so this is the laser pointer. So this is the diffracted wave uh, we, that, we, that we can see on the screen. Okay. Okay. So we show you more clear. clear. Okay. So this is the slit with increasing. So in the middle is very bright. And now you decrease the size of the slit and see what is happening. So slit with decreasing with decreasing. Okay. Now we use a pinhole diffraction, shining a laser through a pinhole. So, so this is the laser, so this is the pinhole. So what we can see on the screen. So we have to do the experiment in the dark. Yeah, this is the the diffracted light wave. So we keep it light. Okay, now let's conclude what we can see just now. So this is a narrow slit. So the, uh, we have a bright bright light in, in the middle and we have light um um a uh, straight um, bright alternate with the dark eh? bright, bright dark bright dark alternately okay but in the middle is very bright okay this for wider slits and he is a small pinhole okay so black and lights uh, black black and bright lines alternately brighter brighter in the middle okay okay so this is what this is what can we can draw okay if the question asks you to draw, uh, this is uh, the the image of the diffracted light wave. Okay, so now uh, I uh, show you a very 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 variable uh, slit wave. Okay, so start with zero point zero two millimeter. So increasing zero point zero four zero point zero eight zero point one six millimeter. So we can see that. Single uh, white slit, very bright light in the middle. Okay, very bright light in the middle. Uh, for single narrow slit, dark and bright lines alternately. Okay, this is for uh, narrow slit. Sorry, this is for wider slit. Uh, so it is brighter in the middle. Okay. So this is a narrow slit. This is a wider slit. Okay. Okay, the experiment is repeated by using a pinhole camera. Okay, what happens to the light as it pass through the pinhole? Okay, so light will be diffracted. Okay, white light will be diffracted. Okay, now we move on to the last part uh, is to study the application of diffraction of water, light and sound wave in daily life. So we start with water wave. A pair of barriers is built to protect housing area near a beach. First question, compare the amplitude of the sea wave before and after passing through the wall opening. So, amplitude will decrease. Okay. Now, by relating the size of the wave with the energy, explain how the erosion effect of the beach around the housing area can be reduced by the barriers. As we learned just now, uh, when energy is low, the amplitude also will be low, right? So, the first part, build barrier with small opening so that diffraction can occur. So, the idea is we want to have the, the diffraction of sea wave pass after passing the two gaps, uh, sorry, the two barrier uh, from the gaps, right? So, energy of the wave is spread out, spread out to a larger area where after passing the gap and, we will, and will be reduced. Okay, amplitude of the wave will decrease. Okay. Okay, this is a, a example of one lagoon. Okay, uh, diffraction of water wave produce calm of water or water region suitable for docking of sheet and water recreational activities. Okay, so this is the two barrier. This is the gap. Okay, so the sea water will pass through the gap. So this is what we call calm water region. So we have the purpose of water recreational activities or for docking of ships. Okay. 
Now we move on to the uh, sound wave. An audio frequency generator connected to a speaker and placed near the corner of a wall. Three students A, B, C are standing around the next corner. The generator and the speakers can produce sound at the same speed but with different frequency. When a high frequency sound is generated, only student C can hear the sound clearly. When a low frequency sound is generated, all the three students can hear the sound clearly. Explain the situation. Okay, so this is the the radio. Okay, with the speaker. Okay, three students A, B, C. Okay, first we have to know the first uh, one is frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. So frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. Okay, so high frequency means short lambda. High frequency, short lambda, so difficult to diffract. Remember just now we learned that we have high frequency, lambda is shorter, so difficult to diffract. Only C can hear, so only C can hear the uh, the sound. Uh, but when we use low frequency red, uh, sound wave, it will produce long lambda. So long lambda, sound easily diffracted when long lambda, so all three students can hear. So the sound can can move here until here. Yeah, it's distributed until it comes to student A, so A can hear. Student A, B can, can hear the sound. Okay. okay, next question. All us, Bruantu, are able to communicate across long distance in the forest because they have long wavelengths. Hoots, explain. Yes. So the sound of the two O's, the sound of, of the O's will diffract through the space between trees in the forest. Remember, forests have many trees, right? So it will produce uh, like the gaps and space. The longer the wavelength of the hood, also easier to be diffracted. So longer wavelength means easy to be diffracted and it, will, it can move long distance. Okay. And last question, infrasonic wave produced by elephant have long wavelength to facilitate long distance communication between elephants. Remember, long wavelength, uh, sound can be diffracted easily and it can move further without any distraction. Okay, so that's the end of topic 5.3, uh, diffraction of wave. So, see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum.